Uh, they the review says <laughs> idiot Samoa Joe beat Kurt Angle in fourteen thirty six in the Bound for Glory series, uh, winning via choke, which a submission meant a ten point win. Mike Tanay said Joe versus Angle was the best rivalry in TNA history. Do you agree with that, Mike Tanay? Yes, yes, I do. I, I, I I'm gonna put AJ Styles up there too. Me and AJ. But Samoa Joe, myself, yeah, I I came in wrestling Samoa Joe, and uh, I think that rivalry was the the hottest rivalry, definitely. Crowd started the dueling chance right away. Angle took a high backdrop and went over the top rope to the floor, which we saw. He looks so out of control when he takes that move; it's scary, according to the feedback here. Joe followed with an elbow suicida. Angle actually did a missile drop kick to Joe's back. Angle opened a small cut on his own forehead with a headbutt. Angle went to the top for a belly-to-belly -belly, uh, superplex, but Joe boxed his ears. Joe then came off the top rope with a leg lariat for the near fall. Joe followed with a reverse atomic drop. It's all what we're watching here. A high kick, a senton, and a power slam before going for the arm bar. Look, here he is. Boom, the muscle buster. How about taking one of those, Kurt? You know what? It's not so bad. You would think it is especially having a neck injury like I did, but you don't even feel it. It's not a bad move to take. And we'll pick up with the notes here. He delivered a urinagi and then the muscle buster. He went for the choke, but Angle reversed him into an ankle lock. Angle pulled Joe to the center, but Joe used the trunks to break the hold and got behind Angle and put on the choke with a body scissors. Angle was using elbows to the thigh, but couldn't get Joe off. That bear had you trapped. Finally, Angle got to his feet, hit the Olympic slam, and got a near fall. Angle tried the ankle lock again, but Joe kicked him off. Angle went for the Olympic slam again, but Joe got behind him and got the choke. This time, Joe choked Angle all the way out. And referee, that's right, we're watching the stud, one of the studs of all time, Earl Hebner, ref this match. He stopped the match. Angle gets up to protest saying, I never tapped. They played it up that Angle had passed out. And not that Hebner screwed him on the call. This one got three and three quarter stars. Not bad. So let's listen to it as we uh, start to get into some of this wrap up here. Rear naked choke is applied. Kakina clutch. Samoa Joe. He's got the rear naked choke. He's got his legs wrapped around Kurt as well. Kurt thinking about tapping. You can sense his hand right there. Is he going to tap? Oh, Kurt fighting through the pain. All right, Joe just has that cinched in. Joe's got the firm grip. Kurt doing everything within his power to try and break it. But Joe right on top of him. And not only Samoa Joe with the choke, but putting all of his weight on Kurt. Who digs down deep and Angle comes back. Angle slam. Could be Kurt's pin. Cover. Here we go. Both men throwing everything in their arsenal at each other. It has been just what you would anticipate in this storied rivalry with so much at stake in the Bound for Glory series. Straps come down, and if there's any way for Kurt to turn it up another notch, that's what he's gonna do. Oh my, what a kick by Joe right into the face of Kurt. Again, Joe up, able to slide over this time. No angle, slam instead. It's Joe back with the rear naked choke. And Angle trying for the roll through, and in the, in the process took himself down to the ground. Not where you want to be when you're in this move. Look at that. Look at the situation Kurt Angle is in. Referee Earl Hebner right on top of the scene. Joe has that left arm hooked as well. That means Kurt only has his right hand free to try and bust that choke. Kurt fighting. Doing everything within his power. But boy, Samoa Joe has had it on for a long time. He has it locked in. Cinched in so tight to Samoa Joe. And Earl Hebner calls for the bell. Kurt Angle went several seconds there without even moving, and that's that's the sign you're out. That's the sign you, you've got nothing left. 
and Kurt Angle hasn't moved since. Your winner, Samoa Joe! Kurt Angle may not have tapped out, but in the opinion of our senior official, Earl Hebner, Angle had passed out to the point where Kurt was not responding. And I think in Earl's opinion, he called a halt to the match and stopped it for Kurt's safety as, as Kurt has a complaint. And Earl explaining his point of view to Kurt Angle. It's obviously a tough decision for Earl Hebner, but when there's no, when there's just no response, what else can you do but call for the bell? Kurt, we'll chalk that up to something that we're not used to seeing here on the Kurt Angle Show. You passing out to lose. <laughs> or losing for that point. No, that's a good point. What would you think re-watching this match? Were you happy with it? Oh, I loved it. I thought it was physical. I loved the submission trade-offs, uh, the angle slams and the muscle busters. Told a really good story, and it told a story of fighting our asses off to get the win, both of us. That, that, that was a really good match. 